and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've done anything. Life's been a little crazy. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute, but I am going to do something totally different than I have done before. Let me move some of this junk off my counter. I have got these pictures of flowers. I would like to do a floral nature type journal, and um, or several maybe. I have no idea what I'm going to put in them, but I have found these gorgeous pictures of flowers in some like gardening books and that kind of thing. And I've just cut them out to use either as tags or put on journaling cards or something. Well, today I thought I might try to make some tuck spots with them. I have no idea exactly what I'm going to do, but I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. So we'll see. Figure coffee dyed paper, flowers, and lace. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. So I said I'd tell you about my crazy days here. Oh, that's a dried up one. Um, I had told you about my husband getting injured at work. And then my daughter has been having lots of pain. My youngest that lives at home. And lots of pains in her hands and arms. I don't know if I mentioned this in another video or not. Anyway, she found out she has moderate to severe carpal tunnel. So with the both of them kind of being out of commission, I've had to pick up a lot of extra things to do with mowings and just anything that's lifting and stuff. Our water issue is still a problem, so we have to boil water before we can even do dishes and all that kind of stuff. And then my husband, on the 4th of July, we were at my daughter's house, my oldest, and um, her neighbors were shooting off fireworks. And they were quite a ways down from me. I think I'm going to glue this down too. I think I'm going to put that stuff on top. Um, I would left this because I wasn't sure if I was going to put lace in between this picture and the back. Anyway, we were at her house watching fireworks, and it was like three doors down and across the street. The people, Some of her neighbors were shooting off fireworks, and you know things happen, and you don't even know what's going on. Well, we all of a sudden, I just remember flashing colored lights, like exploding everywhere. And coming to find out, and my husband starts yelling, and I didn't know what was going on, and... Like I said, it was just exploding everywhere. And here, one of their fireworks had must have fallen over or something. And it was going sideways and exploding all over the neighborhood. It was hitting other people's houses, but it hit my husband in the head. Burnt his head. It's got a burnt spot about the size of a quarter. And um, exploded. So he ha is having trouble hearing. So I wasn't sure. I'm like, do you go to the doctor? Do you call someone? What do you do? So I called the lady from our, our church who's a nurse. And she said some things to watch out for for a ruptured eardrum. Never even crossed my mind have a ruptured eardrum. So it's been just kind of crazy around here. And with our water issue, it just takes so long to do stuff. And so I haven't gotten much crafting done. So yesterday at work, he started back half time at regular duty. His, so his physical therapy is doing some good. So he can start doing a little bit more. Still not at full capacity. Oh, and then my daughter, besides the carpal tunnel, they said that the the neurologist said that there's possible permanent damage to her right arm that she had to have the pick line in last year when she had that really bad infection in her jaw. So 
So she's just in a lot of pain. Ooh, that's pretty. Not sure if I want that brown on the side or not. What I was thinking was to do the roughed up edge. Maybe I should just cut that and do the roughed up edge instead of torn edge. See how far I like that better. I'm going to cut that one down a little bit. So yeah, I think it's been kind of nuts. You know, I always hear people getting hit by fireworks and stuff, but we were, you know, quite a ways away, but those things really shoot far, and it must have been one of those multiple ones, because, like I said, it was shooting off all over, but it was so weird when it happened, because, like I said, I it's like at first I couldn't even process what was going on. It was just... Like I said, just a bunch of little exploding lights is all I remember. It's like, oh my goodness. Crinkle this up a bit, make it look more like just old paper. My oldest daughter's been coming over a couple times a week to help me get coffee dyed papers made. I try in the summer to get a bunch made that don't work inside. Some of my designs just don't work out. Maybe other people would think they're fine, but to me they're not. Okay, there, that's pretty. I like that with the crumpled -y look better than just the torn look. Okay, I need my other glue for this. I wanted to do a project today that didn't take a whole lot of thinking and planning and figuring out. So I thought, well, this I can do. Because some of my videos, it takes me so long just to find the supplies and get everything. With everything else going on, I have not been getting my organization stuff done in my craft room very much. There. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Totally forgot about that. So then for as far as like in a book, I thought it could be a, a fold this piece of paper here. That could be attached here and have a tuck spot or on the corner and the lace, the applique could hang out the bottom and it could be a tuck spot there. That's pretty, would like it. Okay, let's find another flower picture. Some of this photography is just amazing. Okay, I had some pretty lace here. Where did I found some of this lace I didn't even know I had. I was digging through some stuff. That one's pretty. Or do I want that on a different one? Oops, that's upside down. I do like it with that paper in the background. So whichever picture I choose. Oh, let's do that one. Here, I'm tending to do the neutral colors again. I pick, oh, let's try something that has color. That one has a little bumblebee. Let's see, I found this pink lace. Look at this humongous bundle of pink lace I did not know I had. Let's do something with pink. Put that aside. Let's do this one. Let me snip a bit of this off. I'm going to have to put some of this pink lace in my... Etsy shop because there's no way I'm going to use all that pink lace. Okay, we'll push all of you to the side. Ah! All 
All right, where's my paper? I'm going to glue you down to some paper here. After this, I have to get out and mow because I've got to do it while it's cool outside. Today's supposed to be, I think, in the mid-upper 90s. And then we're supposed to be in the triple digits. We're supposed to get as far as high as 105 by Sunday. Like, ugh. I do not like the heat. So I'm going to have to be mowing super early in the mornings. But this morning is pretty cool. It got actually down to 52 degrees overnight. So that's going to be quite a switch to go from 52 to 105. We did our church picnic last Sunday. It's a good thing we did it last Sunday because it would have been miserable to do it this Sunday. Okay. So I think I'm going to pull this up a little. Grab my pink lace. I'm going to trim some of it off. Now, should I have the paper under there or no paper? Probably no paper on that side then. I'm going to have to re-glue it. All my glue is going to be pulling up. And I'm really hoping, hoping, hoping to get... I know I keep saying this, but... Oh my word. I'm forgetting everything today. I forgot to turn off my alarm. Forgot to put it on airplane mode. Anyway, I hope to do a video today with some of the things I've gotten at some those um, estate sales. After I mow and do some lesson this morning, I think I'm going to have a little time. here and crinkle it. I just really like that look. Maybe I'll, no, I like, I'll keep it this. I was thinking of trimming the top and the sides a little bit more, but I think I will leave it and we'll see. I know they make, is it Tim Holtz that makes this little like thing that you can put on there to make it tear your edges of your paper? It probably would work a little better than this, but Alrighty. Seems like this one's going to need more than just that lace on the edge. But yeah, it just seems like it needs something. Maybe. Where's a little piece of lace here? Or maybe a little piece of the applique? Let me cut this off here. Oh, I only have eight seconds left.
there. So there are the two that I completed. Didn't get many done today, but I got a video done anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a wonderful day today. Bye.